Good morning to all. Today we are going to discuss a fifth form, your father to his son. This poem is written by Carl August Sandberg. Before entering to the poem, let us have an author introduction. The poetry is the opening and closing of a door, leaving those who are looked through to guess about what was seen during the moment. Can you able to understand what is the quote? It says about poetry is a opening and closing of a door, leaving those who are looked through to guess what about what was seen during the moment so while closing and opening the door at the at that meantime if somebody is look at look inside the room what was happening likewise that is a poetry just a moment by watching it we can understand what the poetry says about what the things happening in the room in the same way at that moment we, uh, depend on that moment what we understand likewise the poetry is also like what we are understanding while reading the poem. Sandberg was born in the Galeberg, aliases to his parents and uh, Swedish ancestors. Carl August Sandberg was an American poet, writer and editor. He is a poet as well as he is a writer and he is also a editor. He won three Pulitzer Prizes for his poetry and one of his biography of Abraham Lincoln. He had written the biography of Abraham Lincoln. For that he got the prize. During his lifetime, Sandberg was widely regarded as a major figure in the contemporary literature, especially for the volume of his collected verse including Chicago poems, Corn Husker, The Smoke and the Steel his enjoyed unreal appeal of the poet in the day, perhaps because the breadth of his experience connected him with so many standard of American life and, and at his death in 1967, the President Lydon B. Johnson observed that Carl Sandberg was more than the voice of America, more than the poet of his strength and the genius. He was an America. So, uh, when he was very much famous, he, all his poem uh, reflects the lifestyle of the American peoples. Uh, when he was passed away at the year of 1967, uh, at that time, the President Johnson, Lyndon uh, Johnson, he was uh, he explained about Sandberg. He was more than the voice of the America. So, he is a man who reflects. He says what's happening about America. That's why the voice of the America and more than the poet of his strength, he is, he, because of his strength and the genius, he, he had proved that he is a poet. He was an America. He said that he was an America because he is a man who is representing the whole America. Okay. Let us see what the poet says in this poem, poem The Father to His Son. Let me read first and we will discuss each and every line what he was described there. Okay. Your father sees his son's nearly manhood. What shall he tell that son? So now the father is observing the son. He is nearing manhood. Means he is going to attain adulthood. That is he is nearing manhood. What shall he tell that son? What he wants to tell to his son? When he is going to attain manhood, that is the thought he is in, in his mind. A life is hard, be steel and be a rock. The advice to his son, his father is advising to his son how he want to be. He is, a, he is telling how the life is, life is hard, how he want to be, he want to be hard and how it be, he want to be like steel and he want to be like a rock. So he had explained the life is hard and how he want to be he want to be like a steel and also he want to be like a rock this is a advice to his son okay 
so and this might stand him for the storm and serve him for trum trum monotomy humdrum monotomy means humdrum it means the life is going in a very lazy boredom sequence that is a humdrum monotomy monotomy boring way okay so what is the thing early morning we have to try or uh, wake up and we have to go for the job again we have to come back and next day the thing which is happening regularly that is a routine mode that is a humdrum monotomy okay so here he had said the life is hard be steel be rock here he had used the figure of speech metaphor he is comparing how life is life is hard without using the word of like simile as just like he had not used just he had compared the life life is hard be steel be rock the figure of speech he used here is a metaphor okay so he had he the father had seen that his son is reaching manhood so he is giving the advice to him that life is hard be steel be a rock okay and this might stand him for the storm and serve him for humdrum monotomy so this makes him to be stand against the storm means what are the difficulty he is facing in his life in his life that he want to be like a hard life is hard so you want to be like steel and the rock throughout the poem he will use the contradictory form he will compare the life with so many things okay not a common thing differently he will compare that is he is using so many contradictory words okay next and guide him among the sudden betray and tighten him for the slack moment slack s l a c k slack means lazy okay slack means lazy so life is hard how you want to be he want to be like a rock and he want to be like a steel it's the advice giving to him and how how he want to be and guide him among, among the sudden betray betray means they will you know solanga kaati kudukirathu that is a betray disguise so because the people are around him they may betray him they may uh, tell his name if there is anything happen and tightened him for a slack moment means he want himself to be tight tight means he want to stand steady in the slack moment slack moment means in the lazy moment okay so the first thing what is uh, the father is giving advice to his son he want to advise his son first he is telling how the life is life is like a rock so he want to be a uh, steel as well as he want to be a rock so if he if he is like a rock or the steel then only he can oppose all the things which is going on against him okay what other thing he can face all these things so he is asking want that only make him to guide that will guide him among the sudden betray as well as that uh, that make him to stand again the slack moment lazy moment okay so next at the next stanza he is telling life is soft loom be gentle so easy the next again he is comparing the life with life is first he had said the life is hard now it is opposite life is what he is telling life is a soft loom soft loom means a fertile land a soft fertile land okay you might may have noticed how the fertile soil is alluvial soil how it is it's very porous it's very loosely packed that is a quality of the alluvial soil that soil is very fertile it consists of all the macro and the micro nutrient which helps the plants to grow okay so now he is first first at the beginning he had compared the life is a hard so how he want to be he want to be like a steel he want to be like a rock the next metaphor he are using life is a soft loom he is comparing life with a soft loom how he want to be he want to be gentle he want to be gentle then how he want to be he, he had to go easy have to go easy again he is using the metaphor comparison life is a soft loom life is a soft loom how soft loom means it is a well fertile soil that is a soft loom so now and to this might serve him brutes have been gently where lashes failed so here he first he had explained it's hard be steel and be rock then only you can stand against what are the thing is ha- happening against him the next stanza is he compared the life with a soft loom 
how you want to be you want to be very gentle and you have to go easy it means you want to be very kind and you can take all it easy okay take it easy likewise you have to lead a life okay and two two might serve him and this two might serve him if he is soft and gentle this will help him to lead a life in a successful way okay next brutus brutus brutes means the cruel thing that is a brutes so brutes have been gentle where lashes failed if you are cruel instead of cruel if you are gentle what happen the work will instead of telling him very harshly if you tell him soft definitely it will happen okay the things will happen we can change the mind of a people even by uh, uh, even we can make them to be gentle apart from beating them that is a lash a lashes means we have beating the if you beat the animal uh, that is a lashes chavak kedi solungala that is a, even we can change them by saying a soft word also so he is uh, the father is asking the son to be gentle and how you want to be he is want to be easy going okay and kind to grow a fa- fa- frail flaws in the path up has sometimes scattered and split a rock a tough will count so do, do does desire so does a rich soft wanting without rich wanting nothing arrives so now the first thing he had explained the life is a hard be steel and be rock next uh, that is that is the thing all this if we, if life is hard how you want to be you want to be strong then only you can stand against all the things which is happening in his life the next thing he had said the life is like a soft loom again a metaphor he had used life is a soft loom life is a fertile soil so how you want to be you want to be gentle and we have to go easy even the way in the way which we talk gentle to them that we can change the mind of the people instead of giving punishment to them okay the third one uh, next he had explained the growth of the frail flaws in the path up has sometimes shattered scattered the split a rock so the frail flaws frail flaws means a very tender flaw okay the plan the small plan even the growth of the frail flaws in the path up has sometimes scattered and split a rock sometimes the small plan can break the split the rock that has that much power by seeing it is the appearance of the plan may be too small and the strength of the root is also very small you can notice in a very big building or the mountain range we can see that in that very hard mountain a small plant can grow a small grass can grow in that rock the rock is giving space for the plant to grow okay so even though it is very soft and tender it is penetrating into the rock okay so in this way see the growth of the frail flaws in the path up has sometimes scattered and split a rock that may splitting the rock adha enna padudhu it's break the rock okay a tough will count so does desire so the strength the st- the strong mind the tough will count means we need such a strong mind that is, that will necessary count mean that is important okay so we need the strong mind so does desire we also need the desire desire asa we we have we must need desire also so does the rich soft wanting without the rich wanting nothing uh, nothing arrives so for, we need richness we need money to lead a life but we should not have the um, greedy we should have a desire but should we should not have a greed okay this is the advice he had given the first stanza he had explained that the life is hard and we want to be steel and the rock so metaphor he had used there he had compared the life with the uh, hard hardness okay yeah, he described how it is and they you want to be strong to stand against everything the next stanza he had explained the life is like a soft loom and we want to be gentle and we want to be uh, go easily we have to take everything easily even he in this stanza he had explained about the importance of the kindness the third how he is explaining the kindness then he is giving the examples like the the frail flaw the frail flaw even it is giving space for the uh, the mountain is giving space for the root to the tender the soft root to go even that root becomes strong and it will break the rock so how we want to be we want to be strong the strength the strong mind is needed the next he said then uh, 
the again he is explaining about we need we should have desire but we should not have greedy okay that is a different between desire and greed asai perasai that is a difference between both these words tell him too much money has killed men and left them dead here before burial the quest of the loop beyond the easy few easy needs has twisted good enough men sometimes into the dry unwrought bone so if we have too much of money i told you at the beginning itself we should have a desire but we should not have a greedy so if you earn too much of a money what will happen that is comparing to during the time of our living that we are considered to be the dead உயிர் வாழ்ந்துட்டு இருக்கும் போதுமே பொணமாக இருக்கும் அப்படின்னு அர்த்தம் ஸோ தேட் வில் மேக் அஸ் டு டை பிஃபோர் த பரியல் இறப்புக்கு முன்னாடியே நம்ம இறந்த மாதிரி பிகாஸ் த வே விச் வி ஏர்ன் மணி இஃப் இட் இஸ் இன் த குவெஸ்ட் ஆஃப் தி லியூ இட் மீன்ஸ் வி ஆர் ஏர்னிங் மணி இன் அ இல்லீகல் வே ஓகே இஃப் யூ ஏர்ன் மணி இன் அ இல்லீகல் வே தட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ கன்சிடர்ட் தேட் வி ஆர் கில்லிங் அவர் சோல் வி ஆர் கில்லிங் அவர் கான்சியஸ் okay that's why we won't be peace there won't be peace in our mind so if we have earned too much of money in a illegal way that is also equivalent to that we are dying before the burial okay has twisted the good enough men sometime into the dry hat the worm so this makes the man how he is leading the life like a worm pulu poochi madri enadu we are living a life okay புழு பூச்சி துடிச்சுக்கிட்டு இருக்கோம்ல லைக் வைஸ் ஓகே தட் இஸ் அ வே ஹவு ஹி இஸ் லிவிங் த இஃப் யூ ஏர்ன் மணி டூ மச் பியாண்ட் த லிமிட்ஸ் தட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ நாட் குட் ஃபார் அஸ் ஓகே ஸோ ஹியர் யூ ஃபார் த சீஸ் இஸ் சன்ஸ் நியரிங் மேன்ஹுட் வாட் ஷால் ஹீ டெல்ஸ் தட் சன் லைஃப் இஸ் ஹார்ட் பி எஸ் பி ஸ்டீல் பி எ ராக் அண்ட் திஸ் மைட் ஸ்டாண்ட்ஸ் ஹிம் ஃப்ரம் த ஸ்ட்ராம் அண்ட் சர்வ் ஹிம் ஃப்ரம் த ஹம்ரம் மொனட்ரமி ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் if he is strong he can overcome the life of life from the boredom okay next the next how what he said life is like a soft loom so how you want to be you want to be gentle and you want to take everything very easy this gentleness has a very good strength when very power to change the mind of a people okay and even the frail flaw the growth of the frail flaw the small plant that it will grow on the rock even later what will happen it will break the rock it has that much strength okay likewise because of that we also want to be strong the strong the strong mind is necessary important for us okay again he is telling advice we should have desire but we should not have greedy if you earn too much of money in a illegal way it it's compared to the death okay even the lifetime which we are living even we are dying before the burial saavadhukku munnadi edha maayirum nama pona maayirum this is the example he had given okay next we will discuss the next line tell him time as a stuff can be wasted tell him to be fool ever so so often okay and to have no shame over having be a fool at learning some time out of every folly hoping to repeat none of his chief follies tell him time as a stuff stuff can be wasted tell him to be fool ever so often so here tell him tell him you have to notice the first two beginning of the line tell him as a stuff tell him time as the stuff can be wasted tell him to be the fool ever so often so the, the first two lines the beginning of the word is same tell him tell him time here he is using tell him time as a stuff can be wasted stuff can be wasted again the next line tell him tell him to be a fool tell him to be a fool ever so often ever so often you should not read it as a often it is a often okay so you have to notice this this two in tamil we will say no edugai mone okay so tell him tell him the continuous the both the continuous lines are begin with the same word tell him tell him 
this is a figure of speech of anapora anapora means if the two continuous lines begin with the same word that is called anapora okay so here he had used the figure of speech anapora okay so tell him as a stuff can be wasted tell him to be a fool ever so often and to have no shame over having be a fool so the father is advising the son not to feel shame a shame of others telling you a fool even if you had wasted your time in a uh, unnecessary way you should not bother about that you should not feel shame of about it let learning something out of every folly hoping to repeat none of the chief follies so the only advice of the father you you don't want to worry about others telling you fool or something but you have to learn everything from your mistake that is the thing he is telling us it learning something out of every folly it means we have to learn a lesson from every mistake okay learning from mistake so the father is advising to his son he have to learn every uh, learn something from his mistake okay so from all his mistakes he have to learn something if he did something mistake now next time we should not repeat it that is the next line hoping to repeat none of the chief follies you should not repeat the same mistake in his life that is the advice okay the first thing you should not worry about what you had not known if others say fool to you you don't want to feel ashamed the next thing what he want he have to learn something or you have to learn from the mistake and the next time you should not repeat the same mistake once again okay this is the advice so the figure of speech he had used in this beginning that tell him time as a stuff can be wasted tell him to be a fool ever so often so the first two line begin with the same word tell him tell him that is a anaphora okay next thus arrival at the in intimate understanding of the world numbering many fools so at this time we can see the people who in, intimate means they are we can we can understand the people those who are around us there was the numbering they are world numbering many fools so many few fools are there their number of fools are around us tell him to be alone and often and get at himself and above all tell him no lies about himself whatever the white lies and protective font so only one thing they can anyone can tell you fool but you don't worry you have to learn from your mistake and you should not repeat the mistake okay and thus arrival at the intimate understanding so we have to understand ourselves of the world numbering many fools there are so many fools are there we have to identify that out okay then tell him to be alone often so now the father advised to his son you always want to be alone okay and get at himself they have to know about himself i want to know about myself likewise the author is telling the author is telling to the son he want to know about himself and above all tell himself no lies about himself he should not im- think anything wrong about his own i don't think anything that i should not think that i am perfect in anything i have to analyze i have to know the real picture of mine what i am and what i was that i have to analyze without having any lie without any having bias okay i have to understand about myself clearly what i know what i don't know what i fit for what i don't fit for that i myself must have likewise you my yourself must have, have to know how you are and what you are and what you know what you don't know that is a self analyzing so in that while self analyzing we should not have any lies okay it means that we are cheating ourselves nammale namma enna pandrom e maathikrom whatever the white lies and the protective font in that way we should not say any white lies green lies we used to say in colloquial language pacha poi we will say green lie it's not the white lie means uh, it's a lie which help 
to uh, protect the harshness of the word okay that is a mild form of telling anything that is a harsh a white lies okay and it should not have any white lies to console ourselves we should not say any white lies about ourselves okay he may use again other people tell him solitude is creative if he is strong if you are solitude it means if you are alone that makes us that will create the strength okay tell him solitude is creative if he is strong solitude means a loneliness if loneliness be become creative no here he had used the personification the word he had used is a personification so tell him solitude tell him solitude is creative tell him solitude is a creative if he is strong if he is strong so if, if he is strong you want to be alone that gives creativeness so tell him solitude is creative so he is making the quality of a loneliness is a creative so he is personifying so he is using personification the word he had used here is personification okay so how and final decision are made in a silent room so whatever decision we have to make we have to make in a silent room that uh, that creativeness that peace of mind help us to think something different and even we can take a good decision what our soul is telling to us it comes natural and easy being different even it is different and easy that will come natural what that will give us a uh, clear solution for that problem okay so whatever decision we have to take we have to take alone okay let him have a lazy day seeking his deeper motive let him have lazy days so next line he had explained let him have a have lazy day let him have a lazy days seeking his deeper motives seeking his deeper motives so here let him have lazy days he is adjective he is describing the days how the days should be the, la- the how the days the day is lazy he adjective he is describing the day so let him have lazy days seeking his deeper motives means that lazy days when we are in the rest when we are in the silent that days will motivate us to know what is there in our inner heart in a sense what we are feeling that is a deeper motives what our mind is thinking that we can bring out in the lazy days let him have lazy days here he is describing the day how the day is day is lazy he is using the adjective so if we use some such adjectives that figure of speech is called transferred epithet epithet means adjective so this figure of speech is called transferred 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 epithet epithet is nothing that is a adjective epithet okay transferred epithet the lazy days okay next tell him seek deeper for where he is born natural then he may understand shakespeare right brothers pastler pavlo michael faraday and free imaginations so here is the place that we have to take rest and we have to make our mind to be silent 
then we can understand what our inner feeling says and it will say something about we have to search seek means search we have let him seek deep we have to think depth for what he is born natural for what purpose we had born and what is the inbuilt quality we have that we have to think then only we can understand the same way then he may understand why what is the purpose of shakespeare born shakespeare is a great dramatist he is a father of english drama so he is such a very good personality in english literature then if we talk about right brothers they are the person those who had found out the uh, structures and the manufacturing of the flight okay he, they were very famous for that then the uh, louis uh, pasteur he is a biologist he had found out the vaccination for the dog bite and all so many things he had find out bacteria and all louis pasteur then paulo paulo in psychology we had studied his name paulo he is a physiologist he he had find out the classical condition okay next michael faraday he is a the scientist he had fi- he is famous for the electromagnetic then the free imagination then only we can find free imagination that help our mind to think freely okay we want to be in our own way next bring changes into the world resenting changes he will be alone enough to have time now here also he had bring changes into the world resenting changes here also he had used the same transferred epithet how we will see the line see in this line bring changes bringing bringing changes bringing changes into to your world bringing changes into your world resending changes resending it's bringing changes how the changes is resending changes okay how the uh, bringing changes it's bringing changes into the world where resending changes okay how the changes are they are resending again and again they are say resending it so here also he had used the transferred epithet epithet here also he had used that uh, figure of speech transferred epithet okay so he had uh, he had described how the world changes are the changes are resending he will be alone enough to have time for the work he knows as he, as his own so if he is alone he can know about the work what he has to do he know about himself okay this is a advice to the son okay let me read once again the poem you uh, you have to read the, uh, you had to and uh, listen to me then you can understand okay see a father to his son a father sees his son nearing manhood so the father is saying that the son is growing up what shall he tell that son that is a thought in his mind what are the advice he can tell to his son life is hard be steel be a rock and this might stand him for a storm and serve him from humdrum monotony so big uh, he is giving the first advice he is giving to his son how he want to be the, he is comparing the life with the hard and he want to be like a steel and and he want to be like a rock this will help him to stand again all the odds in his life okay so even he is comparing the life how the life is life is like a humdrum monotony humdrum means it is a boring boring way continuous next he that will help him to uh, guide from the people those who are sudden betray and even he can he, this will how he want to be he want to be titan it means he want to be strong for this lag moment next he is comparing the life with the soft low how the, li- uh, the life is life is like a fertile soil so we want to be gentle and you want to be easy so even he had explained about the gentleness achieve more than that the rude okay next yeah, how the gent- uh, for example he had explained that the frail flaws can grow in the on the rock okay then they can spit the rock also with their power the soft even even though it is very soft and tender they can spit the rock they will break the rock 
okay so the next he had said we have, should have a desire but we should not greedy if you money if you earn money too much in an illegal way that compared to the life that we are uh, attaining death in, during the uh, period what we, when we are living so before burial itself we are considered to be a dead okay for a sagaradha kumari sadada considered one next he have said if you have wasted the time in unnecessary thing don't worry don't feel shame if others says you fool but you are you you should learn everything from your mistake and that mistake should not repeat once again next he have he says that only thing we want to be alone if you are alone then only we can uh, think what we are in our mind says we have to listen to whatever mind says then only we can achieve we have to realize for what the purpose we had born like the great scholar he had ex- he had given some examples like shakespeare right brother louis pasteur michael faraday and the pavlo they are the people they had achieved by knowing their inner talent okay so only thing we want to be uh, alone then only we can think differently so we have to be uh, how uh, we will be alone enough so we are the, uh, we ourselves is enough to achieve what we want to to do we are enough our will power is enough to do we don't want any but is help to achieve anything in the world so be alone and uh, under listen to the uh, uh, voice of your mind and do what you what is there inbuilt in you okay so this is a thing we have to find out our own inability uh, ability then we have to work towards it okay this is the advice the author had given to all the sons okay not only to his son in the name of a father to his son poem okay i hope you had understand so here we ha- he had used the uh, so many figure of speeches are there the first one is he is compared the life is a hard and life is a soft loom that is a metaphor and next he had used the personification that he had seen tell him sol- solitude is creative so solitude is a quality of a loneliness he is making that to be the personified he is personifying the character he is comparing to the human quality creativeness so that is uh, that is a personification and anaphora he had used in the line of line 20 i think so tell him time as stuff can be wasted tell him to be full ever so often that is the an anaphora because the both the beginning line are same in the both the lines the repeated uh, the next line sequence lines so that is anaphora and he had used the transfer epithet that let him have a lazy day and bringing changes into the world resending changes that is a transfer epithet that it means he describes the noun okay adjective he had used there so these are the figure of speech used in this poem i hope you had understand the poem very well thank you students you learn this read this poem one or two times and you have to summarize the poem and you have to send to me thank you